That's what life's all about, right? You gotta have fun. You gotta love, love yourself. Above all else, love yourself. And if you really love yourself, you're gonna have fun with your life. There's a dog. Thinks I got food for him. I ain't got no food for you. I ain't got nothing for you. Nothing for you. I don't know what they're thinking. You wanna help me with the ball? Here. <laughs> Scared the shit out of her. Oh, we got another one now. You want the ball too? I don't know what to do. Huh? What, do, you, what, do you, what do you want? So I guess I haven't made a video in a couple of days. I am in Cincinnati, and it's been raining the past couple of days. So I really had a, a chance to take a breather and rest and think about the next steps in my journey and my life and everything. So I'm really really thinking about what I want to do next. I'm really thinking about all the relationships that are in my life. I'm really thinking about my channel and what I want to do with it moving forward and you know in healing. I'm really really you know that's my passion. If you know me at all, you know healing is my passion. It's like my gift, my ability. And I'd like to share that with everybody. And I've been doing that a lot going across the country. I haven't really talked about it too much, but it's been pretty, pretty awesome. The response I'm getting, all the people. Thank you to everybody that's reached out. Thank yourself because ultimately, you trusted your your instincts. You trusted your gut. You trusted your intuition to you know that there's something here with these this healing work and to reach out for it is a really brave thing for you to do so i i commend you on your bravery i commend you on following your intuition and it's it's really what it's all about you know trusting spirit trusting your guides trusting god the universe whatever phrase works best for you and love love you love yourself you know Having energy work done to you is it's a big deal and it's pretty freaking magical if you ask me. <laughs> the bowl thinks so too. I've been having a lot of fun with these things today. Look at my eyebrow I'm all jacked up. So yeah. I love you guys so much and thank you for following the journey and thank you for all the donations. Please uh, consider donating if you like the content because this is what I do. This is my full time job between the videos, the content I create and post and the other YouTubers and other people that I've collaborated with. You know, this is, this is what I dedicate all my time and resources to is my channel. And all the donations you guys give for one are helping me get across the country and get back home so I can see my family. And, you know, it's really helping go towards the channel, you know. And I'm recording my journey here. It's really a beautiful thing. I love it. I really do. And, you know, I took a couple of days off so I could recharge the batteries. And, you know, I haven't seen rain in like two months. So it was kind of depressing at first, you know. I used to always think of it as like liquid sun, liquid sunshine. That's what rain is, you know. It keep you in that high spirits. But man, I was just really down. I was, you know, I was in California, beautiful weather, and then in Arizona and Sedona, beautiful weather, no, no rain, no, barely any clouds. You know, it was all sunshine. And then uh, get over here in the Midwest, down the Bonesies, there's a bunch of rain. Get over here, there's rain. But the sun's shining today, and today is a new day, and I really, I spent like an hour and a half in meditation this morning. It's kind of falling in and out of consciousness, because I was, it was still pretty early, I was still pretty tired. And, but I had some profound experiences. My meditations lately have been pretty interesting. You know, I always take a journey in my meditations. But I stopped doing that. 
not really. I just changed it up a little bit. You know, I listened to Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks and Abraham a lot. And it's a really good message, a really powerful, positive message. And anyways, they always say to meditate and quiet your mind. Well, I always take a journey, you know, I'll take a guided journey or I'll listen to some binaural beats or music and hey, and I will guide myself through a journey or take my own journey, you know, and I stopped doing that so much and went to just sitting with myself, literally sitting with the God inside, sitting with my source, which is your source too. It's a really powerful, powerful thing, a powerful experience I've been having that the second I, I shut this off, the vibration instantly rises. And my entire body is like elevated to a higher level of consciousness. It feels like it's just the tingles all over, you know, it's like, oh man, it feels so good. An hour goes by and I'm thinking it's like 20 minutes, like 15, 20 minutes and it's been an hour, you know, this morning was an hour and a half. I really need to set, start setting a timer. Oh man, that was intense. But you know, that experience I'm having and I feel like it's going through a third eye activation or awakening and, and opening up the pineal gland because of the, the imagery that I'm having when I'm not even visualizing anything. It's just that imagery that keeps coming through so i'll tell you it's um it's like a circle it's like a like a plate almost you know it's like a just a plate like a flat circle that just starts like in the back of my mind as a big circle and it just gets smaller and smaller as it goes out the third eye just poof. and it's just constant it's like a and it's a rainbow it's like the rainbow color the outline in the inside just it's like poof. Just the rainbow just going through my head, coming out the front. Just, oh my God, it's... I was starting to think I had intuition last night when I was doing the meditation too. Maybe I'm supposed to jump into that tunnel. Maybe I'm supposed to take that tunnel and go meet the divine. I don't know. I've been uh, thinking a lot about channeling. I like really, really enjoy being able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with my higher self. I know it's possible when you just need to shift to that frequency because your higher self is always broadcasting. It's just whether or not you can achieve that vibration to find that radio station, so to speak. So, that would be really exciting. Anyways, I want to continue my journey today and I need to raise money to get out of here. I started a GoFundMe page on my Facebook, um, Conscious Evolution 33, at Facebook or something or another, whatever it is. You should be able to find it. Maybe I'll post a link below. But yeah, check it out. Share the, the GoFundMe page. Share the fundraiser, please, if you know anybody that, that could possibly help me in my situation. I know a couple people have really gone above and beyond with the donations, and I thank you so much. Spirit has got me here in such fashion, I can't even begin to describe to you how fascinated I am by that. When you just fully trust, you fully trust in spirit, and the things that unfold in your life are magical, at least in my experience for the last week and a half that I've been driving. I can't believe I've been driving for... 12 days, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah, 12 days, wow, that's amazing, alright, so yeah, I'll put the links below, if you know anybody that uh, can help donate, I'm trying to raise $500 to finish my journey, and get back home, and stop at some other places too, because, I mean, I could just go right back home with like 250 bucks, but, I'm on a vision quest, and I want to see that through, <laughs> and I feel called to do that. So, when I raise the funds I need, I will let you know where I'm heading and see if anyone's interested in doing a, in booking a in-person session with the Reconnective Healing. 
or you know you can always do the distance if you guys are interested then email me at ajtaylor408 at gmail.com or you can hit me up on the facebook and also everyone that has already done a healing session with me if you guys could go on to the facebook page and leave a review or something like that that would be great i would absolutely appreciate that i love each and every one of you be the change that you want to see in this world lead by example be that example embody that change be that love that you want to see in this world love each and